Hello my dear students and welcome to today's class. The topic for the day is acid, bases and salts. As you all can see on your screen also, you can see there are different things over here. Grapes, then you have vinegar, you have milk, you have lemon, you have apple and you have spinach. All these things which you can eat, they have different, different taste. Okay, there are variety of edible substances like apple, lemon, grapes, tamarind, curd etc okay there are variety of edible substances like apple lemon grapes tamarind tamarind is imli okay curd is dahi etc which we consume regular regularly do they have similarity in their taste no why everything tastes different if i talk about uh, grapes they are what what is the taste of grapes they are sour okay khatte bhi hote hai but they are never bitter okay if I talk about lemon it's sour if I talk about chocolates they are sweet everything has got a different taste so we will be starting with acidic substance today the first topic is acidic okay as you all can see on your screens also Certain substances that are sour in taste are called acids. So the things which are which have sour in taste, which are sour in taste are known as acids. The word acids come from the Latin word acers, which means sour. So substances that contain acid are called acidic substances. Anything which has got a sour taste is a acid. Okay, fine. Now, next one, come to the next page. If I talk about the properties of acids, you can see on your screens also here. Acids are sour in taste. They are corrosive in nature. What is the meaning of corrosive? Corrosive means unko zunk lag jata hai. when they come in contact with the air, moisture, they get corroded. Okay, then acids are soluble in water, acids are strong and weak, acids turn blue litmus red and acid reacts with metals to form salt and hydrogen, acid reacts with carbonates to form salts and carbon dioxide gas, acid reacts with bases to form salt and water. So these are the different properties of uh, acids. Just a quick recap of them again, they are sour in taste, they are corrosive in nature, they are soluble in water, they are strong and weak and acid turns blue litmus into red color. Acid reacts with metals to form salt and hydrogen. Acid reacts with carbonates to form salts and carbon dioxide gas and acid reacts with bases to give salt and water. Okay, there are different acids which we are going to talk about now. You can see on your screens, different acids are there. First is hydrochloric acid, okay, hydrochloric acid. What is the formula for hydrochloric acid? That is HCl, okay. What is the formula? Chemical formula is HCl, which I have even underlined, you can see. It is used in labs for various experiments, okay. It is used in industries for heating purpose. It is used in manufacturing of glue. It is used as disinfect, it is used to remove stains, okay. In case any stain is there, you can use hydrochloric acid to remove it and it is used to make aqua regia, that is the three parts of hydrochloric acid. One part of it is water, it is used to dissolve metals like gold, okay. Now, first acid we have done, hydrochloric acid. Now, come to the next acid, which is nitric acid. Okay, the chemical formula for nitric acid is HNO3. Okay, this is HNO3. The uh, chemical formula for hydro, sorry, nitric acid is HNO3. Fine children. Now, what is it used for? It is used for making fertilizers. It is used to clean jewelry and made of gold and silver. It is used to make explosive and it is used to purify metals like silver and gold okay then uses of sulfuric acid okay as you can see on your screen also what the chemical formula for this is h2so4 
the chemical formula for sulfuric acid is H2SO4 and what is it used for? It is used for making paints, it is used in car batteries, it is used to make detergents. What is detergent? Your mama washes the clothes, she is using detergent, okay? That is a powder which is used to wash clothes and all, okay? She puts in the, uh, what you call, washing machine so that your clothes get properly clean, okay? And it is used to manufacture copper sulfate and Epsom salt, fine? Now come to the next page, again, that is uses of acetic acid, okay. It is used to give taste in food, okay. It is used to add taste in your food. It is used as preservative when you are putting some sort of pickle, you put your mama puts a pickle na, aam ka char, nimbu ka char, mirch ka char, whenever she is making, she is adding this acetic acid and the chemical formula for that is CH3COOH, okay. This is the chemical formula for acetic acid. It is used to remove stains from furniture. It is used to clean floors and windows. Fine children. Now come to the next topic, basic substances, okay. Basic substances, sub substances are bitter in taste and are soapy to touch. Such substances are called bases. In case any uh, thing is bitter, bitter is karwa, okay, bitter is karwa. Agar hum usko taste karege, to wo karwa lagega or touch karege, when we touch it, usko chhu kar dekhege, to soap wala feeling aega. It will slip, it will slip from a hand and that thing has a basic nature, okay. So, any substance which is bitter in taste and has a soapy touch are known as basic substances okay now properties of bases bases have a strong irritating odor odor is smell agar aap basics ka smell dekhege to bahut taste smell aati hai you will be you will be closing your uh, nose because uski smell itni tez hoti hai theek hai na they are bitter in taste as i told you anything which is bitter in taste is basic in nature they are smooth and slippery Okay, बहुत smooth होते हैं, slippery होते हैं। The moment you will touch, ऐसे लगेगा, they are getting from away from your hand. They turn red litmus blue. In acids, what it was happening? It was turning blue litmus into red, but in the bases, it is reverse. It turns red litmus into blue. Then they react with acid to give salt and water. And bases may or may not be soluble in water. क्या पता वो soluble है water में? हो सकता है, हो जाए। and maybe they do not, okay. So, these are the different properties of uh, bases. Again, a quick recap of that, irritating, other, other means smell. Then, they are bitter in taste, they are slippery, they are soapy, okay. They turn red litmus into blue and they react with acid to give uh, salt and water and they may be soluble or insoluble in water, fine. Now, come to the next part. Next page, there are different uh, bases over here, they have given you the uh, uses of those, okay. First one is sodium hydroxide and the formula for sodium, sodium is Na and oxide, hydroxide is OH, so the chemical formula for sodium hydroxide is NaOH, fine. It is known as caustic soda, okay, caustic soda. Hindi mein suna kapde dhone wala soda, that is high sodium hydroxide, okay. It is used to manufacture soap and it is also used to manufacture paper and medicine. It is used to make chemicals like sodium hydrochloride and it opens the block drains. Block drains jab nali band ho jati, you know what are drains? If I talk about myself, I am the very fed up with my kitchen drain. Now and then it keeps on blocking. So what I do, I take some hydro sodium hydroxide and put it in the drain. And after some time, I pour some hot water. The block drain is cleaned away, okay. So sodium hydroxide is very good in opening the block drains. Fine children. Now, uses of calcium hydroxide. You all can see on your screen also. I hope it is clearly visible to you all. 
the chemical formula for calcium hydroxide is CaOH whole twice. Okay, it is known as slate lime. Okay, which is used as a substitute for cement. It is used to manufacture paint, manufacture bleaching powder. It is used for white washing. Okay, in case you want to uh, get your house white wash from outside, what do you use? You use calcium hydroxide. That is white sort of powder. When you put the that calcium hydroxide into water, it gives out a pungent smell, and the water it seems that the water is boiling. And after some time, you can get the water is cool, and you can put on your walls and all to whitewash it. Okay, it is a component of Bordeaux mixture. It is used to treat waste water before being released into water bodies for disposable. For disposal, it is used to neutralize the acidity of soil. Okay. Then come to the next one, magnesium hydroxide, and the chemical formula for that is MgOH whole twice. Mg is magnesium, and hydroxide is OH. Fine. So the chemical formula for magnesium hydroxide is MgOH whole twice. It is also known as milk of magnesia, used for anti. It is used as an antacid, and it is used as laxative. Children, what is it? actually magnesium hydroxide sometimes we are not able to uh, uh, fresh ourselves okay we face a problem of constipation constipation is a state in which you are not able to pass stools and all okay you are not able to go to the toilet and pass your stools okay what you do you take some uh, milk of magnesia you drink it and after 4 to 5 hours you will be able to clean your stomach very easily Fine, children. Now come to the next one. Uses of ammonium hydroxide. Please look on your screens. The chemical uh, formula for this is ammonium is NH, hydroxide is OH, NH4OH. Okay, NH4OH. Okay, and it is used to manufacture fertilizers. Fertilizers. What are we using for? We are using for increasing the fertility of the soil. It is used to remove ink stains and is all-purpose cleaning agent. If we want to clean anything, we may use ammonium hydroxide. Okay. Then the last one is potassium hydroxide. Potassium is K. The symbol for potassium is K, and hydroxide is OH. So the chemical formula is H K O H. Okay, K O H. Then it is used as an electrolyte in alkaline batteries. It is used to manufacture of soft soaps and liquid soap then it is used in manufacturing of fertilizers and cleaning solutions fine children so uh, now i think acids and bases are very much clear to you acids they have a acids they have a which type of uh, taste do they have they have they are sour in taste okay and on the other hand bases they are bitter in taste okay uh bases they are bitter in taste they have slippery texture okay now we'll be uh, doing with indicators the next topic is indicators as you all can see on your screen also here can you all see an indicator is a dye that changes color when it is put into an acid or a base in case we put the indicator in any solution which is acidic or basic in nature it will change its color okay indicators can be defined as a substance that show a change of color when an acid or base comes in contact with it okay what are indicators it indicator is a dye which changes its color when any acidic or basic things come in contact with it fine children now the next one you can all see on your screens also okay the first indicator is no litmus very common word you must have seen or heard about this word litmus it's a strip of paper in which tells us which changes its color when we put in uh, acidic thing or we put in basic thing okay this is the most commonly used uh, indicator the most 
The most commonly used indicator is litmus. This dye is extracted from lichens, a small plant. Okay, this is of purple color when dissolved in distilled water. It is available in the form of strips of paper also. Okay, it is made up of lichens. It is a kind of a plant, and it comes in the form of small, small strips. Okay. and when you put this litmus paper in the solution you come you come to know whether the given solution is acidic in nature or in basic in nature fine now next one is <coughs> the next one is phenolphthalein it is an organic dye it is colorless and can be obtained by dissolving phenolphthalein dye in alcohol okay it changes its uh, changes to pink in basic solution and remains colorless in acidic solution what happen agar koi bhi cheez basic hai theek hai na solution given solution is basic in nature it will change to pink color agar basic hoga if the thing is basic okay it will change into pink okay and if this is it remains colorless agar koi color change nahi hota it remains colorless <coughs> that means it is acidic in nature fine children then we have methyl orange methyl orange changes to pink in acidic solution and changes to yellow in basic solution what was happening in phenolphthalein <coughs> the basic was changing into pink color now when we are using this methyl orange <coughs> what is happening the acidic changes into pink color and basic solution changes into yellow color fine now the so students now you can see the next topic is universal indicator okay <clears throat> what is universal indicator the ph of a solution can be detected by using a universal indicator a universal indicator is a mixture of indicators that is capable of giving different color change for different ph value what is ph value first of all ph ka full form kya hota hai what is this ph ph is potential you can say potential or power okay power of hydrogen okay all the bases all the acids they contain hydrogen you if you want to know the ki kitna usme hydrogen hai how many hydrogen ion does it contain the given solution how many hydrogen atoms it contain you need to do ph test okay so and this ph test the ph ranges from 1 to 14.1 is a considered as a strongly acidic and 14 as strongly basic and 7 is neutral so if i talk about this is the universal indicator it starts from 1 and ends on 14 7 in case the ph value comes 7 that means it is neutral in case the solution ph value comes in between 1 to 7 that means it is acidic okay it is acidic and it can it comes between 7 to 14 it is basic fine children 1 to 7 acidic 7 is neutral and 7 to 14 the given solution is basic in nature okay now the next one natural indicators what are natural indicators natural indicators are obtained from natural sources like different parts of a plant okay if you take the juice of a cabbage a cabbage juice turns red deep in color in acids and green in bases okay कैबेज होता है पत्ता गोपी यू मस्ट हैव सीन इफ यू टेक इट्स जूस एंड यू मिक्स इट विथ एसिड इट गिव्स यू डीप रेड कलर एंड इफ इन केस यू मिक्स इट विद बेसिस इट गिव्स यू ग्रीन कलर ओके देन टर्मरिक एज इंडिकेटर व्हाट इज टर्मरिक हल्दी यू मस्ट हैव सीन इन योर किचन इट इज अ नेचुरल इंडिकेटर फॉर ऑफ ब्राइट येलो कलर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम प्लांट्स ओके टर्मरिक गिव्स रेड इन बेसिक सोल्यूशन ओके देन न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन we have learnt about acid and basic substances these substances give different with different color with different indicators now let us see what happens what happens when we mix an acid and a base agar hum logo ne koi bhi solution liya wo acidic hai aur basic hai usko hum logo ne kya kara we are going to mix it together we what will we observe 
see what will we observe here when an acid and base are combined together it gives salt and water okay acid and base dono neutral ho jate that reaction is known, known as neutralization reaction and it gives out salt and water so when the solution is basic because of the dilute uh, dilute sodium hydroxide solution phenolphthalein gives pink color but when an acid is added to the solution becomes colorless due to the formation of slat this reaction is called neutralization reaction when we are combining acids and base together it is a neutralization reaction and what is it giving out it is giving out salt and water now what is salt the product of neutralization reaction between an acid and a base is called the salt when we are combining these two acid and base all together what are we getting we are getting salt and water fine now what are the properties of salt look on your screens preparation of acids can be done in three ways they are by reacting acid and a base how are salts prepared when we add an acid with a base then by reacting acid and a metal whenever we want to have the salt of any substance what we will do we will take by reacting acid with a metal and by reacting vegetable oil and caustic soda now there are different salts naming salts are there you can see on your screens salts from sulfuric acid ko hum kya bolte hain sulfates sulfuric acid se humne koi salt banaya to we will name at sulfates salts from nitric acids are named as nitrates okay you can see on your screen also salts from hydrochloric acids are named as chlorides okay Chlor chloric uh, hydrochloric acid se ab kya ban raha hai chlorides then salts from carbonic acids are named as carburates then salts from acidic acids are named as acetates fine children then what are the properties of salt first is salts are so salts are soluble in water salt solutions are good conductors of electricity okay then salts are mostly solid fine children then what do you different uh, salts have been given to you and what are they used for first is copper sulfate what is copper sulfate is used in it is used in manufacture of insecticides okay where are we using in the manufacturing of insecticides okay then used in manufacturing of other copper fungicides then used in preparation of bordex okay then sodium chloride sodium chloride kya hota hai namak khate ho tata namak that is sodium chloride sodium chloride is nacl used to give food to uh, used in food to give taste used to soften hard water used in fire extinguishers used in fertilizers and medicines and used in many brands and shampoo and toothpaste okay fine these days in the market also you must have years heard of the ad mere toothpaste mein to namak hai what is that namak namak is sodium chloride that is nacl fine children then the next one uses of zinc chloride okay this is also a common uh, very common salt it is used to maintain purity of water pani peena hai to saaf peena hai dirty water if you are going to drink impure water you will fall sick okay so water has to be purified before drinking so we add zinc chloride to the water to make it pure used to accelerate growth of plants used in cell batteries used in the production of iron exchange resins and used in the vulcanization of rubber fine then other salt another salt calcium sulfate it is used to manufacture dry tree calcium supplements okay we want to give more supplements to our diet okay then it is used to coagulate so milk to produce toffee toffee is the other sweets in case we want to make we add this calcium sulfate it is also used as a food additive in most of the food products to preserve its freshness and quality the bakers <coughs> they are using in baking of biscuits and cakes so that the quality of the food can be increased the quality it can be kept fresh for a longer period of time 
and it is also used in beers during the process of brewing. So that is all for today. I hope you liked it. Keep uh, on reading as I keep on telling you read, read and read. The more you will read, the more you will be able to solve your queries. I hope you liked today's session. That's all for today. Take care. Bye-bye.